Good evening ladies and gentlemen, Positive Glad here and tonight we are doing RRL, covering the RRL Championship, it is the Drivers' Championship for Sunday, this is Season 8, Round 16 of the Sunday Drivers' Championship and we are at the Death Trap of Baku and I am flying solo here tonight so just as a prior warning if I do have to head off and do anything during the race I'll try and kind of get you on the best cars for the relative action which is of course the way that we do things here. So we've got a pretty stacked grid tonight. We've got 17 drivers here. So let's turn this onto mute so I don't need to hear myself. Press that there. Here we go. Nope, that's not muted. Good stuff. Right, let's get this all global. So we do have 17 drivers here tonight. Out of everyone here tonight, of course, we have the Drivers Championship. <laughs> hey, Skarky, how's it going, mate? It's just me here tonight, of course. No penguin here tonight. So I'll do my best to do the best of the cover the race to the best of my ability, which of course I will, I will always do. It's a very quiet stream because we have little Baban asleep, so if I do apologise if the game, if the commentary volume isn't as loud as usual, I don't want to kind of make her up, of course. So, 17 drivers, Toto Addict is back of course, unexpected return. Uh, Biddy, Michelangelo, Turtles, Cookie, Thomas Haler, Tough Kev, Les Paul, Big Stew, Tiger Blitz, make Night 7 making his first debut. Welcome into the RL Tiger. Uh, Notorious, Kaninch, Paul 2K, Wise Dog, Synth, and Winchester. That is the driver lineup here for round 16. Now, of course, we are getting into the crunch time. Only four races left after this one. Five races altogether. 200 points to play for in RL. Anybody can still win it. Les Paul looking very, very favourable. As he is in a Sauber. Kaninch in the McLaren. Cookie in the Haas. His hip is back, of course, this race. Paul 2K is in the Tor or so, Synth in the Renault, Addict returning in the McLaren, of course, as he has missed two or three races. And we have got a dry qualifying, so that's pretty cool. Let's get myself loaded into this, currently fitted, full, enabled, and that's absolutely perfect, isn't it? Let's just flick through everybody over and over again. And moving, carrying on my review, Thomas Halo in the Renault, Toto in the Williams, both on level points. We've got Turtles in the Williams, Tough Kev and Snoop. Tough Kev, of course, the last week's race winner, third race winner of the season. And Snoop in the in the Force India joining him, old rivals. Biddy and Notorious remain in the Red Bulls, which is quite interesting. Uh, we've got Wise Dog and Alzat. So Wise Dog and Winchester, of course. They are in the Ferraris. Michelangelo and Big Shoe in the Mercedes with the new guy, Tiger Blitz, going into the Toro Rosso. So hopefully we do have a very, very interesting driver lineup. We do, so we'll see now if they can give us a pretty good race. So just waiting for the first car to go out on track now. I believe we've got somebody. I think it's a Sauber by the looks of it. I believe it's the championship leader. Let's pull, so we're going to get some good coverage on the driver's championship leader at the moment. A lot of quick guys are going to be in very, very interestingly slow cars. So quite interesting to know. Kaninch of course is second in the championship, hoping he can he just basically needs to beat Les Paul here today. Kaninch is in the McLaren, Les Paul of course, as we are riding on board with him in the Sauber. Now, an interesting thing to point out, even though these guys are on regular corner cut and it doesn't make a difference around here of course, but I will simply let you know these guys are on full damage. I've done a race around here on full damage, quite a few of them, and a couple on simulation, not much difference, it's going to be brutal. One of the most highly concentration tracks on the calendar, Wise Dog of course out in the Ferrari, Bullets will be keeping a close eye on Tiger, he is of course in the Toro Rosso and he's warming the old tyres up here today and Paul 2K follows him down the straight, but we will stick on board with Les Paul, I believe Toto Wolf is out of course in the Williams 2 and Michelangelo is out in the Mercedes, so we've got an array of cars out on track, we'll hopefully be able to see Really good racing here today, getting a nice interesting qualifying session. And away we go, let's get back on the Twitch page. Here we go, so guys, I hope you do enjoy tonight's coverage. Oh, I definitely will. <laughs> this is always a corking race. If you guys don't get too spread up, but there are a lot of drivers on track. I think this is one of the heavily, most heavily contested races since the start of the season, so... Fingers crossed we do get a good one here. Well, let's pull, come around now, the tricky tight left-right section going through, oh my goodness me, going through in the sector three. And here comes Les Paul then, watching the next Sauber go over 205 miles an hour which is kind of an impressive feat to do to be fair, 206 at max start. So 
that's very, very interesting. So here comes Les Paul then, going around the first sector as he enters turn two. Very, very nicely done. No fear shown at the moment by the current leading driver's, ch driver's champion. Guy leading at the driver's championship, should I say. Okay, I'm doing this here today, guys. This is my first proper stream back. I might, may start streaming a bit more regularly. I'm going to be focusing on... Oh, who's the last pole? Runs a little bit wide there. Shouldn't really cost him too much. Paul 2K does come into the pits. He returns to the pit lane. Tiger Blitz also comes back into the pits. He's had a bit of an out... Kind of a, a feeder lap, almost, in a way. Oh, last pole with a great slide there. Look at that great camera angle there on Baku. As you see, the horse penis building, of course, christened by my old racing league. By myself, of course. The horse phallus, so to speak. <laughs> we have um, a oh, great end. Look at no fear going through the castle section already at this stage of the Grand Prix. That is a maybe may, may a telling sign, or is it kind of a, a sign of almost unknown fear, really? That he's not really showing. But Les Paul doing really, really well so far. Flying around now towards the end of sector two. This is the trickiest corner on the, on the whole circuit, I think. You've got to really hit the apex right at the outside wall. He's hit that perfectly. It's going to be a good lap here by Les Paul. Of course, it's not going to be pole position. Well, you never know. It probably won't pull, obviously being in the Sauber. Les Paul has been incredibly consistent in this car. This is his third week in a row being in the Sauber. And he has got in the top ten in every single time he's done it so far. So, fingers crossed Les Paul can put in a really, really good time here. Let's have a look as he goes down the main straight. And he is absolutely flying now. Hopefully we get a little bit of a better camera angle coming in towards the main straight. And it's a 1 minute 44.8. That's not a bad start. Nice dog, I believe, is the next one coming through. Here comes Billy the Kid. Apparently, he's got a shout out in the crowd. That's just fucking pointless, isn't it? Um, so, here comes Wise Dog Cross Line. 1 minute 43.8 on the harder tyre. Very interesting strategy choice there as he moves himself into the provisional pole position. So, it's a Wolf, of course, and Williams. He's kind of come flying through now. Since, of course, out on track. Skarky, control your uh, emotions and urges, please. <laughs> Yeah, I'm solo inside, guys. If anyone wanted to hear Penguin, unfortunately, he's busy with work, so it is going to be up to me to take the reins. So here we go then. Toto Wolf comes across line. We're at 45 1 been beaten by Les Paul, but remember, he is on the harder tyres. So it's a tough care for the 44.1. Not a bad lap for the Force India. Synth does a 4 minute 43.1 in the Renault. That's a core care, isn't it? Um, so we've got Winchester flying now down towards the line as well. He's going to get his lap posted very, very shortly. We've got Addict, of course, he's following... I think Addict's actually coming in first. So Addict knows not Winchester is. Winchester comes across the line here. As Michelangelo goes second with a 1 minute 43.2. Just that was a fucking hour lap. <laughs> We're in a validated lap, I'm not really sure. And Addict has just gone fourth position with a 1 minute 43.8. Remember, Addict is returning. But he is the next one to come across, I believe. Show sure, time for Winchester here. Here we go, that's better. That's good. Sector 3, Higgins video. We've got someone for Sector 1. I believe that may be someone just letting someone through. It's it's Tiger. That's not a good start, really, is it? He's parked up in Sector 1. Random. Really random, and um, we'll let him be for the moment. Really, the most impressive debut we've seen so far. But we'll have a little fly through. Biddy comes down the main straight here with 45. Do um, Tiger hopefully will recover? I think he has recovered now. No damage. I think he must just let someone through and just kind of overshot the corner. But we'll kind of keep that covered. Um, Winchester is the next guy on a flying lap, I believe, followed closely by Kunich. So we'll just double check on their progress at the moment. Sid Michelangelo Toto does improve and moves in front of Les Paul with a 1 minute 44.3. Cookie, who is former championship leader, as is Turtles, of course. Tom Saylor's always in and around. These are the guys that you kind of expect to kind of fight around and flip around for the main the top seven positions, really, don't you? With other guys kind of floating around, which is to miss a lot of races, so he's obviously had to build himself up with a lot of bad luck. And when he comes into the pit, so a bit of a swerve there. Cheers, Winchester. Um, so Kanich comes flying now down towards the start finish straight. Will Kanich actually come and set his lap here? Of course, that McLaren is going to be an absolute fungus to drive around this track. Will he be able to break into the 45s? He does comfortably 1 minute 45.1 just behind Les Paul, three tips down on his championship rival. We have Big Stu and Paul 2K, I believe they are. Big Stu is going to sector 1, so we're going to follow Paul 2K. He is in sector 2 at the moment. And Paul 2K, pretty good luck. 
a very, very consistent season for Ticket. He's got a position in the Drivers' Championship, so he's doing pretty well. I believe it's fourth. Let me just double check. It is fourth. So he's currently a matter of 39 points behind. So if Les Paul gets the DNF, Paul 2K with a win will take the over the lead of the championship. Les Paul incredibly consistent. Highly unlikely that's going to happen. Les Paul's going to be an absolute bitch to catch before the end of the season. But his namesake, Paul 2K, is here. Flying down now around the right final right hander. Well, the second second to last round, he could really call us a corner, I guess, couldn't he? But here comes Paul Will he be able to come and set his lap time now? He's going to be on course for around about 1 minute 44 if he keeps it clean till the end, which he does. And it's a 45, 45 0. Interesting. So let's pull us up here. Another guy. Big shoe. Probably the most unluckiest driver on the grid at the moment. And that's a very, very nice little bit of corner in there by Big shoe as he comes around sector two. Great, great contrast. <laughs> Ascent right in one of the where are the four second fangirls? Penguin's not here and Skarky is here somewhere there, mate. So we've got you we've got your two cheerleaders, one of them's here. <laughs> it's a big shoe. Ooh, but they couldn't get much closer to the wall than that. Really, really good save almost in a way there. And Tiger Blitz is not having a good race at all. A good start here. Thomas Halo and Turtles both come out on track. These two have had a, a long existing rivalry, shall we say. As a big shoe comes flying now round the final corner. Final corners, should we say, final sector. Look at the speed of this Mercedes. This should be just OP to the fuck. There's a car on the left here. Getting dangerously close to Big Shoe there. I don't know who, quite who that was. Well, big Shoe, who puts it into fourth position with a 1 minute 43.3. On board with Cookie. One of the early impressors of my RL coverage. Really, really quick driver. Bit of lag there, very, very interesting, that's unusual. Let's see if I can just shut this down. It might just be me on the stream, give me a second. There you go. That's probably as aggressive as you're going to get through the castle section. Really, really fucking crazy. In the house car this race, so Cookie out of the McLaren or the Sauber for the first time in a while. But of course, he will be still hard pushed to beat the Mercedes clad cars. All the, all the lower runners, all the lower driver championship standing runners at the moment will be feeling a huge advantage in the, the Renault of, I believe that is, Thomas Hale lets him through very nicely. We'll just his back on his lap. Turtles is on his main lap. He's going to be starting that. No. It's about a second off. <laughs> a bit, little bit out of sync here tonight. Sitting with a great lap, 1 minute 41.1. But he's retired. So Biddy just retires on track, of course. That is illegal in this championship. Oh, Cookie is, I think Benny's had enough, I think he just wants to get to the race and get out of the way. And Cookie takes pole with a 1 minute 42.8. Finally, someone not sent off his pole position perch. Interesting. Oh, well, Turtles is going to be the next one to give it a go. Williams, not the most overrated car. Paul 2K, another retirement on track there. Just have to double check. Get yourself, get yourself some TV time there, lads. But Turtles is on the way now, still sporting the pink helmet, of course. Tiger Blitz is actually attempting his first flying lap then, it seems. Big Stu takes pole with a 42.8, we missed it. That's one thousandth of a second ahead of Cookie. There is no gap between that. There is one thousandth of a second, but that is enough for the moment. Will Tears be able to respond? Oh, it's at the wall, that's not going to help. Probably a good half a second slower than what he needs to be on right now. 46-1, I think Turtles will just have to settle for wherever he gets here. The qualifying is nearly over. I don't think he's got enough time to get to the end of the lap, so this basically is going to be his last run. We have here Notorious as well. He's going around the fist. Notorious does get there enough time to get a lap in. Tiger is coming around sector one. Winchester around sector one. Turtles is the one we're going to be focusing on for the moment. Total ninth can inch in 11th. Tough Kev moves up to fifth position. And Turtles comes in sixth position. One minute 42.6 would have been a lot better if he didn't hit the wall. Winchester sector two. We've got here Thomas Halo sector three. This guy's a rapid driver in this car. We'll have a little look, see what he can do. Will Thomas Halo be able to throw his name in lights? Big shoe retires, there's no need to carry that on my mark. Keep it going. Pray to God you don't get overtaken. Here we go, Thomas Halo with the draft. One of the bits, Thomas Halo picked the draft up. I think Thomas Halo may get pole position here and doesn't. Only sixth position. May have been a scruffy first sector. Got Winchester in the Ferrari. This is a pretty mean car around here. Let's see if he can do any better. Wise Dog, his teammate, is currently out on track two. He's on a 43.6 at the moment, so that can be improved as we've seen. The track is getting better. Big Stu, 1,000 per second. Cookie is pitted. He's not going for another lap. Sint is. Michelangelo is. 
So Winchester takes pole position with a tenth of a second clear. Provisional. Still, guys, you can do better. What will Tiger do? What will Notorious do? Notorious. And the Rebel. Oh, goodness me, the Mercedes, a big shoe. His car wouldn't move out the way. Tiger Blitz with a very, very respectable 13th position. Michelangelo takes pole. It's all Notorious. Wise Dog can still do something as well. Let's have a look at Wise Dog. Where's Wise Dog? Notorious. He's actually in a Red Bull. He's not Wise Dog's teammate. Winchers is Wise Dog's teammate, of course. And Notorious puts in 13th. Not the best lap in the world. Wise Dog gets 6th. So we've got Michelangelo Mercedes. Winchester in the Ferrari. Yes. Big stream in the Mercedes. Cookie in the Haas, which is a phenomenal lap by him, of course. And just to point out, there were three guys within half a tenth, within two hundredths of a second. Sid, Big Stew, and Cookie. Wise Dog 6th, Tough Kev 7th in the Force India. Not bad driver. Snoop is not actually here tonight. A bit of a rare miss there for Snoop. Very, very rare, actually. Unfortunately for all the Snooper. Snoop fans out there. Um, we've got here Thomas Hill, 8th in the Renault. We've got Turtles in the Williams. Addict in the McLaren. Good luck by Addict, of course. Beating his championship rival, Les Paul. Paul and Paul 2K, of course. In fact, all of his championship rivals. Then we've got Toto in the Williams. Notorious in the Red Bull. Tiger in the Toro Rosso. Make his debut 14th place. And not a bad effort. Les Paul in the Sauber. 15th. Kunich McLaren. 16th. Biddy. Oh, pretty bad session on his account. Not got a lap together. 17th, guys. I'll be back in two minutes. Just going to go for a quick cigarette. Back in two. Oh, I could have come back at a better time, right? So really, really good qualifying there, Michelangelo pole position. Very, very nice. Just want to wish all you guys who are watching a really, really good race. Hopefully I can do the coverage as best just as I can. If I do have to shoot off, of course, it'll be for a couple of minutes. But just obviously I'll keep you on the action as best I can throughout the race. I'm not sure if I'm going to be here for Christmas Eve, obviously. <laughs> so I remember you were quite famous for crashing at Baku, but we'll... Leave that for a review video, I think. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, no, it's a really, really good, good, good setup for the grid. A lot of quick cars are all in and around here. Not, it's not been dominated by one team specifically. The Mercedes is looking very, very sharp here. Michelangelo and Big Stu both need cracking races. Michelangelo has tailed off in this championship, of course, had a lot of bad results, but now he has got a car, and he, everyone has still got a chance of winning this. 
few three good races here and it sets up an unbelievable finish i will be i will potentially be missing christmas eve i will potentially be missing new year's eve all depends obviously on what happens i will keep you informed on twitch pulse and of course on my twitter which is the following i'll put that in the link because i can now do it twitter.co.uk and or twitter.com oh, that is my twitter link there ladies and gentlemen that is the one and um, please be sure to hey look at that yeah look at that that's good isn't it? right okay here we go then we are rolling here guys only notorious thomas notorious already up and then baku is underway huge times here tonight good luck to all the drivers Look to myself. And we are here already. We've got five red lights. And we are off for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. And there's a slow start there for Wise Dog in the Ferrari just behind. The Renault there of Thomas Halo. With three wide there. No, no real crashes so far. Let's, have, let's go back to the front of the grid. Look at this. Oh, there's Mercedes in the one way. It's Michael Andrew. He's going to have a bit of damage, just thinks had a really, really good start as well. Just behind his materials, this is going to be an absolute hectic start to the race. McLaren of Addict is there too. Oh, which is the richest is going to leave from Big Stu. Michael Andrews had a appalling start really there in fourth position. Let's have a little look here then. It's just going to be a case of everyone following suit so far. Anybody really? Look at this just behind. Kanich and Tiger. Look at Tiger got overtaken by the second. Oh, there's a crash. Tiger's hit. Kanich already. Tiger and Kanich. Fuffle and Liz Paul comes past the pair of them. No blame, Tiger just got a bit too close to Kanich's car. Oh, so unfortunate, notorious up to 15th place. Beating no damage, but of course, that's me, that is it. Oh, there's Tiger. Tiger's had an awful start to the Grand Prix. That is not how you drive it. Round back in, ladies and gentlemen, that is not a good showing at all so far. So, <laughs> great debut. Michelangelo looking up to the fourth position. Oh, the, oh, bit of wing damage, bit of wing damage, tough Kev. Tough Kev, bit of wing damage so early on. Thomas Halo in seventh position. We're all over the back of him now, and you see the white Ferrari of Wise Dog. There too. Bit of a crazy start, Paul 2K. And Thomas Wolf getting very, very close together. Toto, feeling the Williams just needs to hang it together here. Great line there by Toto. I don't feel much of a tough Kev's going to have to pit here. And Adam's has got Turtles. Turtles, all the West Turtles gone. I've got Turtles going for the fast left, right. Tough Kev does stay out. Thomas Halo should make a light work of the force in here, but Tough Kev, we know how good he is at defending. Just to get to the nice, early fastest lap, of course, bit of a conference. And Tough Kev's at the wall again. Kev's at the wall again, which means why it's not going to have a run at him here. Ooh, in the background, Toto, in the background. Les Paul's going to have a little shoot on the inside of him. And Cookie's going to take a Michelangelo here. Lots of action going all around the field here. Cookie back up to fourth. Toto with straight line speed should be able to just oust. Tough Kev does have huge wing damage here, so we'll just keep following as best we can. Tiger and Kinich both pit. Kinich of course comes out, he will be coming out in front of Tiger of course. Not the best start, so these guys are going to, especially Kinich from McLaren, he's going to have a really, really boring race from here on the other day. Um, but here we go, let's get focused now, and we are... The turtles in the Williams. Steadily climbing up the field. He was in a Force India last week. I know Lenny, tell me about it, mate. Welcome to the stream, by the way, buddy. Oh, I'm on an old solo stream tonight. Um, we're on board with Tough Kev because he is still. Back on Thomas Halo, he has got wing damage on Kev, so he's going to have to be very, very careful. And to be honest with you, I don't know what Tiger was doing really there at the first corner. He's really, really killed off his own race and can inches. All in one go. I'm going to see Thomas Halo and Michelangelo are going very close to that wall. Why is not does hit them on the flight? We're just going to give Addict a bit of a run. What a start by Addict, by the way. Maintaining his position. And Les Paul and Notorious had a bit of a scrub there, and Not Notorious, ooh, and remove. Les Paul, you can see Les Paul does have a slight, itsy bitsy bit of damage here on the front left, we'll get on board with him. But we do have a look at Sinnott here, who's looking very, very close to making a move. Will he be able to do Big Stu? The Mercedes power should just be enough. Big Stu with the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. Notorious does have Les Paul, flick back down the order. Oh, here we go, there's another one here. Addict is on Wise Dog, and that's McLaren. Ferrari, that tears up the form a little bit. Why 
this dog loses control of the car. I'm just going to give Turtles a bit of a run out of here. Turtles just able to hold the station. Does less pull the pits from his wing damage, of course. And there we go. That is a very, very, uh, what, what you call a hectic start. Yeah, he, he seems a bit of a loony. I, 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 yeah. Sit, sit. I'm going to send a big stew on about here. Let's send to big stew. I'm just going to give Cookie a bit of a run. Nearly missed that move. Sid moves up at the second place. Good move there. Just managed to catch the end of it. There's no Skarky or Racing League experience. I, of course, will put my name into the pot soon to be racing again. I'll let you know when. Not me, but it'll be coming up shortly, of course. Wants we'll to take a fucking chance on me, I guess. Uh, Cookie. He is, ooh, Big Stew right in front of him here. Let's have a look at Big Stew here. He is in third position. Winchester is just still staying ahead. But he is notorious in the Red Bulls, just having quiet races back there, just getting on with things. So, obviously, you can probably see me stream my races, but, you know, obviously, commentating does come first for me, and then I'll obviously work out there where we go from there. But we've got yeah, Addict in eighth position now. He needs to get us up. Yellow flag! Turtles in the wall! I believe that's Turtles in the wall! He spun wildly. Oh my god, the tourist is the same thing. Was it Biddy? Biddy, I think, did the same thing. Only a bit of wing off Tails race is, once again, like the three at the back, ruined. And Cookie is up to Big Stew. Look at this. Down the outside of Big Stew. All for cameras. And just behind Michelangelo Thomas. Michelangelo Thomas, hey, look at this. Cars off everywhere. Tough Kev has pitted in. He needed to. Has gone everywhere here. Having just moved up in the seventh place in that McLaren, that's a big effort. Michelangelo got overtaken. Michelangelo just fell down the field again like a stone. Not really exactly what he would have wanted. No wind damage, Michelangelo. And of course, he does run in cockpit cam, so he does run an immediate disadvantage here on these guys in the front. As you can see, the ABS off for Michelangelo on the floor of the drivers. Like I said, no discrimination on what he runs with. Of course, you can run everything if you really wanted to, but there are some things that you run which will give you more of an advantage than others, of course. Let's ball up into 13th place, of course. Tiger and Kinich having a power. We're on board with Tiger, mate. Because he seemed a bit of a loony early on in the race. So hopefully that is a uh, critical focus for the whole of the race, watching how he behaves. I'd love to know who he actually is. I've never heard of this guy. I've been prominent in the F1 community for a long, long time. <laughs> He's got the pom poms out, like you know what I mean. But Sid and Cookie, done. this is been, this is going to be a very interesting part between these two. Will they be able to hold in Winchester, or will he just be able to kind of hold fire, hold station? No one out of the race yet. It was getting very close a minute ago. A little bit of a switch here by Cookie. Big Stu just hanging it around as well. Thomas Halo, Renaults, Mercedes, and a Haas getting in the mix. Have a look at the close proximity of these. Like, just like train tracks, aren't they? Now have Thomas Halo is on Winchester. Another fastest lap, really, really setting that early pace. We need to know his tyre wear is, is a little bit to be desired. And Sid and Cookie are side by side here. I did miss the initial part of that battle. Cookie and Cookie gets the better of Sid. Great driving. It's not over. Michelangelo pits as well. Wise Dog does overtake Paul 2K a little bit further down the order. Biddy does pit as well, so I'm assuming Biddy had a bit of problems as well. He's pitted from the soft tyre, that's not exactly what you want to do. You want to go deep into the race. And Sid's going on the outside. Hey, look at this between Sid and Cookie. Sid has not given up. Get your pom poms waving. Oh my god! Thomas Hill, the big stew just flipped. What in the actual? Guys, if anybody's watching that, please clip that. Record that, please. I can't. What in the fuck have just happened? Michelangelo's gone down the escape room. What is going on here? And who is that? Michelangelo is... What's in there? What the f... What? Well, I was going to say it's turned into a very interesting four-car battle, but then two cars went into the corner upside down, so we can't really... I don't know if I was supposed to comment on that seriously. We're going to get on board with these guys back here now. Total and Notorious. And Big Stu just in front. Big Stu had a bit of a bad lap, of course, after flipping over. You know, there's not really much you can do about that. 
<laughs> Fuck, I can't even commentate on this. <laughs> but here we go, then the battle now between Toto and Notorious has actually moved up quite a few places. He's up, he was down in 16th for the first corner, he's now up to 10th position. He's on the back of Toto Wolfie, look at that! That will fear show. I believe he may have lost a bit of wing there, didn't he? Yes, he did. He lost a bit of wing, Notorious. Stu comes into the pit. Notorious does stay out. Stu pits, of course, after flipping through the air. Paul 2K does wise stop. Paul 2K has really, really benefited from this. And look at this. This is mental. Really benefiting from everything that's going on back here. Nice one, Sp 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 Skarky. Just get it um, clipped on. It'll... Um, Hopefully it'll be able to let you save it, hopefully, and send it in. This is going to be involved in the pause 2017 montage. Look at Wise Dog and Paul 2K here, very, very close together as well. Just absolute insanity. I think we're going to get an absolute guaranteed overtake here. We've got Turtles now on the back of Kaninch in the way. Oh, look at this. This is TV time at Kaninch. wouldn't really want me to put on the, on the feed, but here we go. Oh, we, we've literally got two battles here. We've got guys who haven't pitted and guys who have pitted. Look at that. <laughs> this Paul technically is leading the guys who have pitted. So, I don't know. He will, of course, get caught up by the quicker cars behind. Even though this Paul is leading the championship. And it must be just absolutely masturbating into his hand at the moment. You know what I mean? Well, we're actually going to do it. Look at this. And it's in fourth position. Starting tenth in a McLaren. Just absolute insanity. Well, guys, drop me a follow if you want to see cars go around corners on their roof. Oh, we've got a yellow flag sector too. It's Wise Dog. Wise Dog has crashed it. And Wise Dog. Oh, dearie me. So here comes Wise Dog. Thomas Halo's pulled off on track as well. I think it may have been something to do with Thomas Halo, that actually. And it's and look at Sint and Cookie, we'll stay on board with these two for the moment, there's a lot going on on track. And look, Notorious and Toto. Toto has pitted, so that's why that overtake was there. And look, Sint. Cookie battling there. Why he's not pits as well. Yeah, man, we, we, should, we should put that on my stream, or on my own profile, should we? Um, you have to follow me, because cars go upside down through corners. And Big Stu was overtaken. Les Paul. Good move there. Absolutely hectic, this Grand Prix. Cinta Cookie, this Tiger, amazingly up in 10th position, though. He's going to... This is interesting. Tiger builds anything about the hard defending Toto Wolf. That'll be maintained. That'll be interesting to see. And look at this battle back here. Biddy, Turtles, Wise Dog, Thomas Halo. All these guys are running in the top 10 at some point in this race. Oh, they're down in 12th. I knew this race was going to be mental. We're not even a fifth of the way through this yet, by the way. I do have a bit of a surprising streak. Look at this. All the bottom six are all together. This is pretty. Turtles with a lost a little bit. Look at this. Three wide. Turtles has to go on the outside. He hasn't got a choice. But he holds his line. Ooh, bit of a, a bit of a hardy bar, you know, to get his hit over. Wise Dog. On the inside, Biddy Wise Dog makes two places up. Wise Dog's going to absolutely impale the wall, and Biddy hits the back of him. Twitch drops past both of them. They're going side by side to the castle. This never ends well. Twitch hits the wall. It's, look at this. Thomas Halo hits. It's just me, they've all lost wing other than Michelangelo here. Twitch crashes off. Gracious me! What the hell is going on? And Sint and Cookie, Sint and Cookie here together. Sint can't quite get the move done. I don't really know who to follow. This that what's going on. Oh, Tom's Halo crashes. Absolutely mental start to this race. So we'll watch Michelangelo Kinnage. I think this is where Big Stu sets the fastest lap. He's avoided all the trouble. Big Stu's back in the safe place. Victoria's pits. That's for wing damage as well. So here comes Michelangelo for 15th place here. Victoria's comes out the pits. He's going to be involved in this mad clusterfuck back here. Everyone's smashing into everyone at the moment. I think Thomas Halen's going to pit here in the background. Yes, he does. 
Michelangelo on the outside of Kinnage, and Michelangelo just inches away from the wall, but that's going to leave Kinnage, and now he sees the switch back move, and he goes back into 15th briefly, of course. There was another straight coming up, so McLaren may be, or will be, very, very weak. That's to be expected. And I think Michelangelo, that, yep, he's already done him now. Will he be able to make the move count? Kinnage, oh, he's run into the escape road, and nearly loses his way. Second in the championship because the guy who's first in the championship is going to be running seventh place, having a pretty easy race. And then as for the most part, Tom Tom, Notorious, and Tiger. These three guys, even the Tiger started the race like a fucking kamikaze, he is actually back in, in, in normal, well, normal land, I think is the best way you can put it. Sint and Cookie still battling, Winchester just in front of them, five seconds, add it ten behind, and the Porter, these are the five guys who have he did death so far. No one's actually retired, which is a rather interesting point to throw out there. The race comes down slightly now. We do have people quick and other people behind them. So all the tourists people do anything about the Williams and Toto. Not on the straight, it would seem. Tough care for an absolute rare at the start. Back in eighth place. And sit down cookie for a little bit here. Let's see if this battle kind of manifests anything. We'll stay on board with them as long as we can. You can see there's a lot of battles going on elsewhere around the track as well. Michelangelo's going to catch up pretty very soon. The battle for second position at the moment. Six points of view. Now you came within a whisker of winning last week's race. And Turtles and Wise Dog. Turtles has overtaken Wise Dog. That's a, that's a move for 12th position on the start, finish straight. Michelangelo does the same thing to Biddy, who lets him through. Very knowledgeable driver there, Biddy. We'll have a little bit of a comeback at him. Will he be able to do anything? Probably not. Since it's got a real run at Cookie here, will he be able to do anything about the harsh driver? Third in the table is Cookie. Sint in fifth, I believe. I'll just double check. I think Sint is fifth, isn't he? He is in fifth position, of course he is. So, very knowledgeable, even though I'm looking at the table on my other fucking panel. So, Sint now is running. Here we go. Will he be able to do anything about Cookie yet? Don't think so. Has just has superior straight line speed. Can't do anything about it at all. Now these guys are going to be coming out in an absolute guaranteed fourth and fifth here, barring any absolute catastrophe. You can see Winchester is not too far at the moment. It's a six tenths of a second in the last lap. So we will always keep up with this. This is the closest battle on the track right now. Sid be able to do anything about Cookie. Sid has always been up there in the top three or four in these streams, unless he just absolutely has an impale race and just dies, basically. And Biddy has overtaken Michelangelo here. And who? The reason is because Michelangelo has lost his wing again. He's just having an absolute shit season so far. No point beating on the bush with him. Will he be able to survive? That's the question. He's going to have to break doubly hard. Oh my lord. Thomas Halo is actually going to overtake him here. And so good. Oh, this just off front. Tough care. Overtakes this pull. Nice and easy. Look at this. Probably the best race we've had for a long while, to be honest with you. And look at this. Here we go. Very nice move there. Oh, and look at this. That's Paul loses it. Toto and Notorious both have taken some they must move up to 7th and 8th respectively. Let's pull falling down to 10th position, it's big news for Porto okay. And we've got Michelangelo, who is out of the Grand Prix. Ouch. Fucking ow. I'm assuming that has something to do with the pit lane. That's, if that doesn't bring out the safety car in this game, then nothing actually will. He's parked in the middle of the track, and the car's doing 201 miles an hour. That, that's there's something inhumane about this. We are now nearly a fifth distance from the Grand Prix. And only five guys on pit. Thomas Haylund moves up into 60. Michelangelo's championship is just... It is now over. Officially over. Oh my god. Imagine if he didn't ghost. Imagine if he didn't ghost. There's, there's something about the safety car in this game that needs to be repatched, I think. They need to recode it because... You know, I'm not sure if, if a car being in the middle of the track is actually a hazard. I'll have to read my book of notes, you know. But if you're a bit excited, you might do a Thomas Halo and Stu and just flip over the top of them, maybe, and drive upside down the straight. It wouldn't probably work, would it? We move back on topic. Cookie and see. Oh my god, Sint. Millimeters away from crashing into the wall there. These are the two closest guys on track now. Baku has claimed its first victim. It is Michelangelo. Which, if I'm correct in my analogy, is the second 
even if Gabriel got the got it, actually. He did finish in Canada, so he is avoiding the point. He will be guaranteed a Mercedes drive, most likely next week. Since he's uh, next week we're at Austria, that's going to be a hell of a Grand Prix. You never have a boring race on Austria. It's impossible not to. It's too short a try. Sint, we're going to go on board with him really quickly. We'll do. We'll go with Winnie, who's two. Very easy. Quite a bit here. Something just about lap 20. Cookie 13. And Sint 14. Very interesting. When he's got a long route here, and Thomas Halo is almost at the point of being lapped already on lap 11. You can tell. And there's Biddy. He will get lapped. Of course, he's an absolute. Absolute stinker so far. Another one. Biddy's just gone to me. You just get to the end line to get in. Fuck everyone else. Just drive your race. Don't crash off. Uh, no, it was uh, Michael Andre, who it was, uh, Skarki. I think he may have had an incident because he's fallen quite a bit further. Oh, just a does pit. I assume they thought he might do. You may as well. Oh, he's at the wall, but no damage. He and Sid move into the 1 2 position of Smith and the Addict. He's remarkably looking at the second or third place here. I think I think Addict will overtake when he's there. Amazingly, no damage for Winchester, but he's not been involved in any real incidents or battles. Turts and Wise done very interestingly here together. He comes out of all the Porto K will get him, yes he does. Other than that, Big Shoe not in the vicinity yet to overtake him. Don't worry, Scar, can you keep your knickers on, mate? Synth did not crash. <laughs> he's still running in second place. 16 of the 17 drivers here, guys. We're on lap, just entered lap 12 for the leaders. That is around Baku, a 51 lap lap race. So just now under half distance, quarter distance coming up in a couple of laps. And wow, what a start. One board otherwise, no tourists in total once again battling again. Oh, nice look, ne nearly blew up into smithereens. Tourists total, total, very close again. Back up, let's go and give that some love. But I think what is that? the Mercedes here. Turtles does have a nice little run, and Turtles maintains 12th position. Putting in a little bit better of a showing after the, as we said, the kamikaze start to the Grand Prix. <laughs> so, so, tough Kev. Oh, Kev, Kev, Kev. Big damage again. It's notorious. We're nearly three wide. Oh, Toto. Nearly drove into the side and tough Kev lets both of them through. Once again, the two guys battling have actually made themselves into the top half now. And notorious has a bit of a run here into the corner. Will he be able to kind of do it? Backs out of it. Intelligent driver from Notorious live to fight another day. Toto is there. If any of these guys crash in the castle, it will become a crescendo as we saw earlier on at the back of the grid. Amazing race so far. Goodness. And Winchester has come out of the pits and he is now all over the whole 2k. This should be too hard. As Winnie makes a light work. Tom Rosso very close to the pit wall there. Just to make sure he does get the move done. Winnie comfortably up at the fourth position, barring any craziness. Easily up at the fourth position there. And Biddy's retired. What's happened there? Into the wall. I believe that is in sector one, near the sector one. It's over for Biddy. Must be his worst Grand Prix in history. Um, amazingly, still no safety car. There was another car parked on the fucking racing line this time. We'll let that slide, Charlie. Come on, mate. Get up. Did, did tap the back of Cookie there. Be careful. And Toto pits in. I think it was Toto who had a bit of wind damage as well. Um, I will try. <laughs> Barring he finishes, I'm going to predict that Synth will come in third place, I think. I think it's going to be Cookie, Winchester, Synth, I'm going to predict. But obviously with Baku, it's such a hard track to predict. Oh my god, speak out, sitting there driving to the wall. That wouldn't have been fun. Cookie leads, Synth second. These two, we've got another yellow flag, sector one. It's tough Kev, who's gone off again. Not having a fun drive here, Kev. Just try and get to the end. As best you can. Nice looking turtle still battling now. Up into the ba their battle's improving to 11th place. Because your toe toe's gone off. Goodness gracious me. Fucking RIPRRL at this bloody rate. Cookie pits. Cookie's pitted. Cookie pits on that 14. Very interesting. Cookie's coming to the pits. Winchester will come out in front of him. 
see the turtles and wise dog just in the background. Oh, turns out, turns out, and wise dog's hit him. That's what I mentioned. That's what I mentioned. You do that if you crash in the castle section. It causes a crescendo. If that proves the point, wise dog has to pit. Turtles is dead. Three cars out, lap 14. Right, anyway, moving back on, we'll move on to the action. Lucky Tits. Live to fight another day, my man. Oh, virtual safety car. We've got a safety car. They've realised that you can't drive a car through the castle section if there's a car already there. Good good mathematics there. Why there's not a fucking full course caution? Fuck knows. But, you know, this isn't real life, of course, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Dios mio. Thomas Taylor was hoping for a full course caution there because he's 1 minute 44 by the leader. I'm just fucking mental. Absolutely mental. When he's catching addicts in quite a rate of knots, he's going to be a little bit of a top toe speeding under the virtual safety car. He gets a drive through penalty. His race is fucking ruined. Just what is going on here? Just over a quarter distance, ladies and gentlemen, and we've had three cars crash off in three laps. Who's next? And they're all pitting in here under the virtual. Kinich stays out amazingly. Kinich is up in the eighth place. Les Paul has pitted. Now, this is a key moment. This is going to come out behind Toto, who does have to do a drive through. So, unfortunately, the virtual safety car did a tiger on the back of the champion, Les Paul. Oh, the leader of the driver's championship, Les Paul. Will he be able to make his move? Tiger up the inside. Let's see. We're going to kind of monitor this very well just for the guys who are going to be watching Tiger's performance. And I have to say, that's a much better move. So Cookie has overtaken Paul 2K there on the DRS. Winchester gets Addict. So the two frontrunners have been held up to it. Since not going to enjoy that. Cook Winchester's now on the back of him and he'll be flying up the arse of him, really. Tiger now. We'll watch Tiger briefly. He's going to be chasing Toto again. Torius has managed to come for this very, very nicely. He's in seventh position. It's as his big shoe. These two are all by themselves. Very dangerous. And Tiger nearly lost his wheel there. Does lose grip going through there? Let's pull. Yeah, he's not close enough to kind of. There's any misdemeanors for the cars behind him. Thomas Haley, you can't count him up here. He's just behind this group as well. Where he was. Well, I think he was, wasn't he? It wasn't. It must have just been a bit of a time glitch. I did say he was eight tenths down, but we'll ignore that. Also, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good thing, man. I've never even seen the safety car come out of one shot quality. You'll have to. I don't know about that, Skarky, that's a bit of a weird one. I'll definitely see a bit of a clip of that, like, but... Um, so here comes Tiger. Oh, my God. It's quick. He can handle himself, but, you know, he's just got to loosen up a little bit on the old aggression, I believe. We all have a much future in F1 2017 League Racing. I really wonder who this guy is. I've never even heard of him before. If anybody knows who he is, just give me a shout in the comments. There's Paul. Very, very look at that around there. Tough Kev and Thomas Halo, but Tough Kev is still going. Fair play to him, he's just bit the bullet. I know Kev, of course, has been down a couple of laps before. He's kept You've got it really to get your points. To get yourself a look at this. Addict in McLaren. Cookie. Oh, oh, this is a battle we've been waiting to see for a while. Addict and Cookie rematch. But here comes Cookie. It's going to be simple. Fortunately, this time it is. You'd assume we just a one the one minute 46.4. Cookie with a 1 minute 46.0 and we've got a yellow flag in sector 1 who is it? I believe that is Tough Kev again he's just oh my goodness me end the game that's all you got to do all you got to do keep your head in that game interesting to see why I end up driving but I'll keep my future posted. Kinich and Toto, these two have had their battles in the last few weeks. Toto in the Williams. Toe with slightly fortunate performances in his races. Little misdemeanors that have happened have cost him the only championship fight. Of course, he's still there. Anybody who can say a full senior or bottom, any car, a bottom save, you should say. Realistic chance. Oh, Tiger's at the back of him. Tiger's at the back of Toto. Ride like an absolute beautiful bitch right now. So we'll just drive through. Tiger carries on. 
Oh, Toto, my lord. It just doesn't go better, does it? Goodness me. He's stuck his bloody wing off again. Kev comes into the pits again. And guys, I mean, oh, Thomas, halo. Sorry, that's not, that's Synth. Synth just, <laughs> Jesus. What about a Kev there? Did he crash again in the pits? No. Toto crossed the pit line. He's got a five second penalty. Jesus, man. That's when you know your race goes from bad to fucking worse, don't you? But, oh, this is what we're watching. Synth is already in the pits. Addict will overtake him. As will Portugal. These guys both need to pit, though. So, just the leads. Cookie second. Synth in a net third place. Big shoe. What will say? Consistent drive. Fault it. It's something he's needed to do for a long time. Well, he's been doing it. It's, it's one mistake. Which pisses all over his fucking race, which doesn't really help. You see Synth just up the road. Big shoe has someone there to focus on. Hey, kind of, I mean, I speak from experience where you kind of drive around with yourself for so long, you know. Obviously, in the SR season, I believe it was season three, of course, before we folded. Um, we ended up at. Oh, look, I shut my mouth. Here comes Kaninja and Tiger. Rematch round two. This one's for, this one's for the. Oops, Tiger gives him a lot more room this time. That's how you do pull off a move. Can you let them have it, though? Great move there by Tiger. He's redeeming himself for his earlier fucking suicide down. And Tiger! Oh my lord! That would have taken both of them out. We don't have a commentary partner here. <laughs> oh, Tiger, look at Kaninch! Kaninch fights back on Tiger! Blitz! Kaninch, the two of them together, side by side. Oh, bit of argy bargy. This is a bit of, bit of a revenge. And look at Les Paul, the two, top two in the championship, but together with the rookie here. That's how you do it. But look at Les Paul. Let's get on board with Les Paul. Oh, he'd be able to do it. It's not as bright as it was. Imagine we've got rain in this race as well. For the love of fucking God, that would be fun. Tiger. All oh, the two cars. And Tiger's just pushed Kanich into the wall. Oh dear. This isn't kind of giving Tiger the biggest review. The best review. Just race once again is fucked. I think that may just be. Round zero for Kanich here, he ain't gonna recover from this. Not in that car. Sint is on the back of Paul 2K now. Toto does pit. I believe that is to do his five second stop goal. Let's just get it out of the way, I guess. Guys with three pit stops already. Addict and Paul 2K, amazing, you have not pitted at all. And Sint goes up the inside of Paul 2K. Doesn't hit the wall. Great driving there by Paul 2K, not to be able to smash him. Fantastic move. He moves into. Fourth position, sorry. Cookie now pretty much running where he was. It gets out synth there, of course. Lap 18 of 51, still quite a bit going on. Tom Taylor on the back of Kanich, but remember Kanich looks like he's missing half his fucking head, let alone half his wing. So I say, look at that line from Halo. It's a case of just being patient, get in the draft, get yourself a better run through. Halo might as well just go on the right side, you assume Kanich is going to pit here. Tells him drawn by Thomas Halo, working out the Kanich does have wing damage, possibly in communication with him as well. There goes Halo, in comes Kanich. Tiger is. well. Guys in the comments, let me know what you think. I'm going to pass judgment on drivers that I commentate over, but. <laughs> I've said. <laughs> So we do have Tough Kev here, 13th. We also have here, just in front, Thomas Halo battling with Tiger. Sorry, Les Paul, sorry, battling with Tiger. Thomas Halo is behind them, forgive me. Sint is catching up with Addict as well. Addict will also come back after his... Just to explain, guys, of course, the, I might as well explain this while we're just watching Les Paul try and risk his life going after... Oh, the lag here, that's not exactly pretty. Tough Kev, come on, get rid of the lag. Tough Kev, and... Why stop? We've got to 12th position, it seems. Broadcast camp, we've got TV for camp, that doesn't lag as much. Kev very nicely held. Wise dog on a red bar. I'm not red bar with everyone here at the moment. Yes I am it seems. Oh there we go, right, it's back synced again now, so that's good. You can tell basically if oh look at this, can you just lap down fourth position? Oh dear. I'm sure I'm not 
I got a bit of a battle and Weistock got back on tough Kev. Ooh, he's lost a bit more of his wing. Look at it. Oh no, castle section, castle section, castle section. Good driving by Sin. You don't want to put yourself at risk through there. It's not the way to lag loads. Oh god damn it. Is it me lagging or is it someone else? I don't know. I'm assuming it's me. Oh, this at the moment, guys, it's my connection, no one else's, so it will hopefully resync itself. That's, that's what I was looking for. As you see, Paul 2K just in the background there behind Cinematics with Kenich a lap down in 11th position. Big Stu just comfortably driving around in 6th place right now, just kind of cover through. Synth is not even, it's, it's t literally under a 10th down Laddick. Let's have a little look at your TV pod. Look at that Look at that camera. Sit and Addict. It's not over tough. Kev has really overtaken my stock back there. Addict is down into Kenich. Whoa, watch your step there, buddy. <laughs> a bit of a jab there up the inside. Addict still hasn't pitted. This is a one stop strategy in its essence. Paul Tukey, of course, going the other way from the supers, or from the softs to the supers. In tune. Two tough Kevin Wise Dog can keep the tune. We've also got to win Big Stu and the Soul Mini Mercedes just coming behind these guys to lap them, so they'll have to be very, very mindful of this. Very respectful drivers here. Or they seem to always kind of respect the rules. Obviously, Tiger's had a bit of a naughty boy race, really, hasn't he? And there's, there's Biddy's wheel just floating around. There's a bit of a memento back to himself. Fucking Billy Wiz, the fuck is that? Why is not getting some very nice out of the way for Big Stu? Not to cause him any trouble. Tiger and Les Paul. Les Paul Championship leader. So here we'll get a good input. It will be second in the championship at this particular That's it, I believe we'll just double confirm that a little bit later on. Guys, is the stream okay? Just to uh, ask him as we are entering. Lap we'll 20. Confirm the lap 20. So get uploaded straight away, and then I'm probably just going to go and do some. Stream. I want to kind of watch over Mass Effect videos before I get involved in any stream because I need to know about some up to in the games. And it's raining. It's raining. And Tiger Blitz has gone off, and he's lost his wing. And Thomas Halo goes through, and it is raining in Azerbaijan. Oh boy. Get your fucking brollies out, get your flippers out, get your scuba diving gear out. Strap on your ducks and get fucking swimming. <laughs> As we have got rain in Azerbaijan coming up. Oh, good luck, folks. Good fucking luck. I've had one experience in the rain in Azerbaijan in league racing. It was overtaking an old RL driver from the guy called Sexy. Um, he went off. I was told to wait by the guys in my party. I said, fuck this, I'm going. I went. Off. Died. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not the kind of ideal situation. But you know, I understand now why Addict in Effect hasn't pitted in yet. This may be. Well, it is. If he can just keep it going, this is an absolute masterstroke here by Addict. Sit and Cookie will be a lot closer. But I keep forgetting about Cookie. He's pretty close behind. He's not like obviously on Les Paul's coattails in the championship, but this will help him. And it's a bit of a weird one because the wind. Oh, Cookie's at the wall! Cookie's at the wall! Take a curse! Awesome camera. Well, up there, I think it's but it doesn't ruin his race. Which makes a very intelligent decision here. I think Synth is 12 seconds, 17 seconds Synth behind. That's how much time he lost going around a few more laps than the others. And the other looks more than ties out of the group. Give the race leader some love and hit. So Winnie is in first position, Cookie second, Synth third, Addict fourth, and Paul is all over the back of Addict here. 
I want to be careful Michelangelo's left the session. Fair play for sticking around so long, but I think Biddy and Turtles are still there too. I don't think that's going to cause any real grief for the connection, to be fair. Abrahami, hey, Abrahami, I think that's what you say there, mate. Thank you very much for watching, man. Uh, welcome into the stream. Please drop a follow if you like what you see. But yeah, man, um, so RL Season 6, Round 16. Season 8, sorry, Round 16. Fuck. Season 8, Round 16 of the Drivers' Championship. Uh, been an incredible season so far. Uh, a lot of... A fucking lot of interest in racing. Um, I, I start covering this on Round 7. I will be... See, barring craziness, I will be commentating this almost permanently, so we'll kind of see what the future is held. But Pool 2K and Addict are now battling here, and you see here, just in the back, Luke Cage is getting caught up here by Tough Kev. That, now these are two different battles on two separate laps here. The battle for 11th and 12th is following the battle for 4th and 5th. That's how crazy this race has been so far. Really good how we've had constant battling here all the way through the Grand Prix. Is that one, Six, I'll be going for my quick cigarette break. So it's what I call the halftime sig break. I'll give you the closest battle on track as best I can. And then I'll be as quick as I can. And then, of course, I'll be returning with you for an interrupted coverage to the end of the race. And we've got a yellow flag and stick to one. Who is it? No. Yes, I do. It's Tiger again. A bit shocking. Shocking. Tiger. I'm not sure if he's caused anybody any grief. I'll have to pay attention and work out. I guess not a good start to his potential RL career, is he? It's been fucking mental. Um, he's off the track again. I want to know who this guy is. I really, really do. Hopefully, you can get back to me in due course. Just let me know what his kind of race credentials are. One of them guy, one of the guys in RL, let me know. I know someone I speak to regularly, Kinnich, is not exactly going to be very fucking happy at the end of this Grand Prix, is he? But he's still going. Still putting the laps in. That's what you got to do. Especially as it is now looking treacherous, and Paul 2K does hit the wall as soon as I say that. Loses quite a bit of his wing, and now this means that the battle for 11th is all over. Kinnich is in an absolute impossible position here. He's got a faster car behind him. It's quicker than the cars in front, but they are a lap in front. Sector 2, who is that? It's Tiger Blitz again. Sint, he needs to get out of the way of Sint here, and he's took Sint out. What is he doing? Take a look, luckily, you managed to move out of the way, but goodness me. Bit of a flashback from the previous F1 leagues. I'm a driver at it, lads, come on. Tiger, you got to stay focused, bro. Long ass races. Don't like being critical of the drivers that I commentate over, but, you know, I've got to kind of speak out at some point. Ooh, Kinch, Paul 2K, and Kev will hit the wall. Paul 2K and Addict. Paul 2K overtakes Addict, that's fourth position right there. But Addict has a much better run than Paul 2K. Paul 2K and Addict. Kanich and Tough Curve, Tigers in the pits. Let's go on the outside. And Paul 2K spun into Addict there. Big shoe! Big shoe, I'm in a fourth position. Takes full advantage of this. And look at that. The two of them battling. Big shoe, just literally fucking RKL out of nowhere there, it seems. Puts himself in a fourth position. Big shoe's having a great race. And it's been a while since I've said that, them phrases. Them words, the same phrase, shall we say. Addict, of course. It's sick, Addict's a big loser there. Now there's a big gap, and Notorious is still going around. Look at my shows of love, actually. There you go, Notorious yeah, is going around by himself. Oh my god, big controller glitched me a little bit there. Put me on back to Addict, but it's still the Kinnage. Tough Kev is just stuck behind him. There's nothing you can do, really, in this position. Right now, these guys. Tenth, Tiger is just on inters. Maybe an intelligent decision. We'll watch how it kind of plays out for him. Going into the 2017 season, Lewis Hamilton has helped 63 points. No, it's not an intelligent decision at all, is it? He's all over the place. Notorious is coming up behind him now. He's praying. Just get oh, he did. Tiger actually got out of the way there, so fair play. 
Oh, Thomas Halo up the next battle. That is a position battle. There's still lots of battles going on track. Big Stu has come literally out fucking nowhere there. Love that. And look behind, Tough Kev finally has a go. Can it just a dangerous place to make a move? But he just they both managed to get away with it. Kev now sees the gap. He's in the force in there, but it's McLaren. Can it just earn some real, real good job trying to hold on to this? Start on straight and amazing cooking came very, very close. Comes tough curve. Pitch. Oh, Kev Pitts? What? Whoa, Kev Pitts! Has Kev had the call? Thirty-five mile now, no issue. Toto comes in as well. I think these guys have all had the call here. Wise dog doesn't pit him, interestingly enough. He's still on into eleventh position on if stuff can get Kev going in on Inters, Toto coming in for Inters. Seems like the wet weather has hit, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at the wet weather conditions. Two weeks now. It's a much more effective wet, wet weather scenario though. Just sticking with Portugal. Stu has put fucking two seconds on Portugal in the last lap. He's on it. Catching Sid now. Cookie, it seems like the top four are kind of the line of stern a little bit here. And the oh, I think it goes a bit out of shape there. I think I'm in it a bit too early. Tiger is in 12th, Tough Kev 13th. I think get let Kinnage go, there's no point. Kinnage not quick enough to deploy. Only get one flap to favour both of them. Just so stick behind him at the moment. Is struggling in these conditions. Les Paul pits. Thomas Hill. Les Paul is going into the pits. I believe he's coming in for his tyres. I think he's going to the pits. He will make the rain conditions, the wet conditions as well. And Kandinch has absolutely fucking imploded. On the wall. Get yourself in, Kandinch. Even if you have to double stack, just get yourself in, take the sacrifice, get to the back of the grid basically. Chill. It is still technically dry conditions, but DRS has, uh, has been disabled, I don't even know. It was close to Sector 2, Tiger has been it. That's a weird, weird place to bend the car. Sim pits in for the intermediates, he's the first one. Big runners, he's behind Big Street. Oh, Paul 2K all over the back of Sint here. The RS is still activated, by the way. So it's not quite officially ready for the changeover. Yellow flag is sick. Second two signalises. Signifies. Oh, signifies. Oh, fuck, am I talking about? Signifies. Fuck, <laughs> Signifies the crash for Tiger Blitz. Of course. Add it from the back. Add it from the back. Stop it. Paul 2K! These are treacherous conditions indeed. Cookie of Winchester, hold on a minute. Cookie and Cookie, this race is very interesting. These tyres are going to be a little bit cooked here. No pun on the name of us. Love to that, very, very nice of it. This race is about to spice up. Red Hot. Hopefully, guys, you will all share this everywhere. I want to see if I can get this video up to 100 views, of course. But a couple of week barren period. I would have got Abu Dhabi easily up to 100, but we couldn't quite get there. Due to the stream problems, I couldn't upload the video, of course. Probably about the 50, 60 mark. It's all right. I want to see if we can nail 100 this week, though. All right, so here comes Cookie, and he is now the de facto race leader. Total Wolf has had another five second penalty for crossing the pit line. It, it's such a hard pit line to cross because if you think about it, the OS is disabled. Yellow flag in sector one. It's total. Oh my god. Something out of the fucking condemned or something, isn't it? And pulled out of the sky. <laughs> yeah, a lot of sector three. Cars off in sector three. Still the yellow flag in sector three. Who is it? It's a big stew. Ah, pitting, of course, sorry. Stu, no wing change, that's interesting. So Big Stu will come out, I believe. He's actually made himself at the fourth. Notorious. Silent race. 
my head right? Looks like Simon, but he's a lot of much trouble. The top three are probably the well, first the well, first second they're the only three having that much damage. Let's have a little look here. <laughs> Why is there rain? Ask fucking God. Ask precipitation. <laughs> if you don't know what, what, what that is, it's all good. There's a dictionary somewhere. Um, I think it's a really, really good race. It's been fucking mental. I think is a word for it. Addict, where's uh, Addict? It's been. It's worse to take an Addict. Has Addict just been stuck in the pits? Look at this back here. Total Wolf gets stuck in there. Total's had a lot of issues being the lapped car in the last couple of weeks. So I think that's a bit of wing there. I think that is Thomas Halo's wing, it seems. It is. Goodness gracious me, this race has so much to offer still. Four guys are up. Michelangelo very early on. Biddy crashed off at the end of Sector 1, beginning of Sector 1. Well, middle of Sector 1, of course, it is. Thomas Halo is absolutely struggling. Toto in the background. You see the last pull there overtake Toto due to the slide. <laughs> it's awesome, isn't it? And Cookie is just pitting now. Very interested to see if Cookie does actually come out in first. We're going to get on the to see whereabouts he is. He's going to. I mean, he's going to come out in first. Yes, you can see Cookie turn the first corner. Both cars together. Both cars together. Here comes Cookie. Has he done enough? Cookie versus Winchester into the fight into turn two. Cookie's got the lead, but when he. Cookie's at the wall. Cookie's at the wall. And his wing's off! Oh, heartbreaking! When he, when he was doing it for Winchester. Still side by side. Awesome views here, guys. Cookie maintains the lead. He's got wing damage, it's only brief. Well, I think it's brief. Will Winnie be able to actually take advantage here? There goes my fucking mid race cigarette out the window because the top two are separated by literally a fucking pube's width. Toto is a minute five behind Tough Cup. Toto, just get yourself around, get yourself your points, get yourself into Austria. Long way to go here. Home Grand Prix, of course, for Toto. Austria, obviously. Yeah. Um. <laughs> dreaming, Buzz, keep dreaming. Um, so here comes the top two. Just Winchester. Just ghosting here. Oh, he's back, he's back. Weird moment there. This car just ghosted, I think. What's happened to Winnie? It's fuel, man. Minus 1.30. Interesting. Winnie's back at sea. I think he might have had some control issues there. But I believe he's back, so now, obviously, with the wind damage from the I don't think this is going to harm Winnie too much. Get back as soon as possible, and then he'll be able to kind of fire his way through. How much TV time is RL Winchester? A teammate of mine way back in the day. We'll leave that for another conversation. But here we go. Here comes Winchester. Cookie. Does stay out. It does have severe wing damage. It seems. I think that's on the orange variety all across the front. Just a case for Winchester to keep it clean. He will, unless Cookie is just absolutely beast for that front wing. I mean, you know, some people do practice without this sort of situation. But there is his wing on the right hand side. What I will do, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have a cigarette. I'm going to just leave the just there. I'm going to chase down Cookie back into my
Turn back, you'll have like sector one. It's big stew, big stew's in the walls. We were just talking about how he's had such a good race. He's lost his way in here. And to think 35 down. And he's, I think Sid must have had another bit of something in here, potentially, for a similar reason. Oh, big stew, I come out. I'd probably pay if I was stew. I'd only come out just back. I've got half like sector two. Who is it? Still in the half like, we'll find it with him now. I believe it is. Kev, again, he's had a lot of problems, Kev, in this Grand Prix. Kev is still going around on the intermediates, of course, a lot of inter to, to choose from, which I guess is a bonus. But tough Kev is in the walls. Big shoe with a pit stop of 4-2, probably 6th or 7th position. But then there's a huge gap back, so I would almost pit in. You might as well just pit in, get yourself back in, get a fresh run off. Yellow flag sector 1, who's that? And take Kev across, and Les Paul, the championship leader, has lost his wing. A yellow flag sector 1, who's this now? Not Toto, it's been Stu, Stu in the walls. Big flag in here, a lap down. Why is Doc behind Kitch? I think hasn't really had it easy at all. Some reason they're showing Big Stu on dry tyres, I can assure you he really is not dry tyres here, guys. This is an absolute optical illusion. This is all kicked off here. Kev pits in, he just doesn't want to make sure he has to cut that corner. And can he have got Weistock, Weistock's hit the lap, can he here? Action throughout. Big Stu needs to pit in really, really badly here, and Weistock will be following him in. I think he's lost half his wing, Weistock, he's got a bit of green slash yellow wing damage on the front right. Absolutely mental addict, he's just enjoying this at the moment, he's just all pretty much all by himself, it seems. Thomas Hale will speak the definition of more website. Notorious is the guy on the move here. He's got he's following this battle with, with Big Stew here. Big Stew does need to pit now. Looper must get around the fast left right section. Unscathed. Notorious just chip by the brakes on Notorious here. Wise Dog gets out of the way very nicely there. Very nice driving by Wise Dog. Intelligent. Can he just lost his wing just in front of Notorious? So it's all over the back of Kinnick. Did he actually do any wing damage? Notorious, great observing driving. 
There's a yellow flag in sector one. Who's that? Kev again. Having an absolute mess race. Let's pull pits. Can he pits in? And look at big shoe pits in. Notorious and Addict both move up into 56th position respectively. What a mental race. Still going. Still 19 laps of this shit to go. Only eight cars around the lead lap. Thomas Halo will be the next casualty to be lapped, it seems. Shoe pits out. He's going to comfortably come back out in 7th position. Kanich comes out. He's going to be easily in 11th place. Drops one position. Paul 2K is just driving around by himself. Why the fuck not? And Winchester and Cookie still go. And Toktar Wolf has retired. That, I believe, is in the middle of the castle section. For the love of God. Full course caution. There is a car in the middle of the track. Kev. Whoa! Kev's driven off. What is going on? Winchester. Winchester and Cookie. Cookie pits in. Wing damage for Winnie, and that is huge! Winchester takes the lead of the Grand Prix! Just to point out, there is a, there was a car, it looks like it was still there. His, his wheel has just decided to run away now, it's, it's, it's had enough. It's, I think his wheels travelled to Austria, waiting for Toto to get there. Five cars out! He is going to be coming out rather tough. Sin's going to be all over him here. Slow pit stop for Cookie. This aerial shot again, very similar to the Winchester situation. Synth will get Cookie here. Synth moves into second position in the Grand Prix, but Cookie with fresh tyres right behind him. We've got something to watch. Torres has just caught up 2K. I think it's an absolute nuts here. Now Torres on fire, it seems. Lost a bit of his front end plate. Battle now is going to be between Cookie and Synth, it seems, these two. Similarly flawed cars. Running in second and third, having great races. Winchester's the only guy's not put a foot wrong so far. Hence the 30 second lead. If Winnie is intelligent, you'll play this right. Winnie is intelligent, we'll play it right. <laughs> Big Stu is 30 seconds behind Addict. It's now a case of Stu getting to the end, I guess. Addict Notorious is still there. Paul 2K is just driving his race. He's going to be moving up the field, and Sid comes very close to the wall there in the castle section, just as we saw. We ride on board with Cookie. And what a Grand Prix. What a Grand Prix. Guys, thoughts in the comments. But unbelievable race so far. Still 17 laps to go and when he crosses the line, well there is no 17, he has already crossed the line of course. When he lets up to the oh, cookie, cookie, lost half his wing again. Oh, it's all unraveling. The former championship leader, you, oh dear me. Paul 2K, and I think he's catching Notorious, Notorious is catching Paul 2K. This race is, even though the gaps are big at the moment, as you've seen here, Cookie going around the fast left, right, it is far from over. I once upon a time had a meme made by me by one of the RRL Thursday drivers, RRL Wesley, of me pretty much crying on this track. That's what it reduces you to doing. <laughs> Where your heart needs to leave like me. It really does. You put so much effort into this game and Cookie's hit the wall. This is not good for him. He needs to pick. To pit in. He's actually pulling away from Paul 2K, which is very interesting. He's going to get on board the Notorious here because he's the guy who seems to be on the move the most. Sint is not over because Sint has put four seconds on Winchester since coming out of the pits. When he maybe, I knew he was when he in the back of that That was Wise Dog. He is 10 seconds behind Notorious and Addict, so he's a lap down on these guys. I think Kev is two laps down, isn't he? I think, if I'm correct. Yep. Mark and Inch, Wise Dog, and Les Paul are all there too. All you can do here is just survive. Just survive. Just survives. He will claim a very, very, very important race victory for himself. 
However, of course, when he joined in the season late, he does get his championship points, his boost to get him into the driver's order removed. So, of course, he will be then in his true position, so to speak. Cookie probably needs to pit here just to get the wing off, get behind that eighth. And then, of course, speaking about it, there he is in sixth position. He's catching Notorious, but Notorious is catching Paul 2K. Things like that is coming together, a bit like a boomerang effect, this here. A lot of good races still to happen here, as we have got 16 laps left. 16 to go, folks. So that's how you take that corner right the curb, aggressively. As you see, the two cars on the same straight now. Addict is 1.8 seconds down on Notorious, but rather than McLaren, as soon as the rain comes down, it becomes a factor. I believe it's Tiger Blitz, he's had enough. Um, no comment there, we'll move on. Um, as <laughs> and Notorious the battle for fifth position, the rage is on. He didn't pay, he's losing time now. In effect, I think he probably needs to kind of stay out very fast indeed. <laughs> uh, Paul Tiki is just literally around the corner now, you see less Paul in between them. Kevin the Force is still driving around. Wise dog in the Ferrari there, Caninch, of course, had his race ruined earlier on by Tiger. There's Paul, a minute three by Thomas Halo, is the guy in front of him. He's a lot down on the sixth position, but of course. Nearly, in fact, he will be, because there's because Paul is right in front. P2, P1 is 20 seconds since, of course, Scott, you've got to keep you informed. Sint has closed it to 20 seconds, he's put eight seconds on Winnie. Since pitting, when he's running on lean, Sint be bra braving and running standard, putting in a hell of a race here, Sint. Kanich has left, Kanich has left the session! Kanich, he's, he's, he's running round. I think um, Sint pitted, by the way, Scarcam, I'm just going to double check that. Yeah, Sint made one more stop, I think he had a bit of damage. But Kanich has left, will he be able to get back in? don't know. Kev on six pit stops, as is Toto, of course, who has retired. But back on board with the front guys here. Should I bring Kutch back in? I reckon I probably should, should I? Well, we can inch. Let's see if I can bring him back to the thing. Wait there. Give me a second, guys. Um, can inch back in. Okay, just back, that's good stuff. Uh, Addict, um, <coughs> yeah, Sin seems to be, he, he is driving pretty well in the wet. Addict and Notorious are both still catching Paul 2K, but this is now a very interesting perspective, because here comes Paul 2K now. Just in front of Addict is now all over the back of Notorious, so he's under the second barrier. If this was dry, we've got a yellow flag in sector one. Who is that? It's Kev again. It's like a recurring theme, this, doesn't it? Okay, you've got a couple of quicker drivers behind you here. Another flag sector three. Sector three yellow flag. Who is it? It's not gone out of sector three, is it? Sector three. Let's go around. I think it's um Wise Dog, interesting, who is no. Like still sick three Kinnitches. Kinnitch is disconnected again. I'm so confused by what's going on here. There's a yellow flag permanently in sector three. It's gone now. I don't know who that was. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it's he's having a bit of a problem, isn't he? <laughs> Goes the, yeah, he's really struggling. Cookie, I think it may have been Cookie, the yellow flag in sector three. Go! That's the yellow flag in sector three. There goes Cookie's win. Right on cue. Cookie now needs to pit and he's going to fall behind the battle between Notorious and Addict. More unbelievable racing here from the RRL lads. Like I said guys, Christmas Eve is the next race. I don't know if I'm going to be there. I will keep you all informed. Addict, look at the way he just, he's just not, no fear from these two. Look at Addict. Oh my good Jesus. 
That will be a pause poop pants moment, as we said, PPP moment. Cookie does pet. Oh, look at this, I think. Whoa! Good lord, notorious! Cookie is fitting the dry. Hold on, it's not raining. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not raining! Cookie and notorious going to. Is it ready though? This hasn't been enabled. That's got up at the bottom of the screen. This is a risky business move. Oh, watch the tour is. Oh, good lord, that was close. Make sure, of course, still driving on seven. Thomas Halo in fifth position. That's Paul ninth. Wise Dog tenth. Back in the field in eleventh. Kev coming out of the pits, nearly a lap down on his former RL co-op teammate. Running 12th and last, of course. Still going, still getting his points added, of course, now. We'll have to see. Notorious. What's the car handling? I think they're absolutely munching away at Paul too easily at the moment. Too much gain through the castle section. You can tell when a car really struggles in this track if it's wet to dry through the castle. I don't think there's any DRS, but all the guys are now pitting. Winchester does pit. Since pitted, that's going to be heartbreaking for Sink because he knows he could definitely catch Winnie in the wet. Ball 2K! Oh, nearly come back on the right time there. These guys will be coming into pit soon. Cookie will be overtaking Addict and Paul 2K. Notorious will probably overtake Addict as well. So it's going to be exactly as it was before. Addict pits in. Slides to the wall, slides to the wall. No wing damage somehow. He comes through. Paul 2K is amazingly continued. This is very interesting to see. Where Paul 2K, this is going to affect his race. And to answer the question, Paul 2K has made a vicious blunder here. Notorious and addict. I don't really... whoever panic asp is, I don't know who you are mate, um, but thank you for inviting me to play. Um, I'll give you a hug one day. And Big Stu comes into the pits just behind. And addict has jumped Notorious in the pits. What a, si what a stint he's had. Notorious in the background, was that wing damage? It may have been, it, that may be wing damage, you know. Let's have a look, little check on the broadcast cam. Maybe front right, slight damage on the front right. Remarkable rates. <laughs> oh, goodness me, Les Paul there, championship leader, ninth position. Ahead of his rival, biggest rival, Kenninch. We'll see his other rival, Cookie, he's coming to bring him fourth position. Seems to be third on Paul 2K pits here. This is pit stop time now for Paul 2K, an absolute must. It's a must stop here. The old web up later for my next podcast, of course. I may, in fact, you know, I may do my Mass Effect stream. I'm going to do a bit of FIFA gaming as well because I have to. But then I will be running some. I may do a little stream later tonight. It will be. T I'm definitely doing Elder Scrolls stream tomorrow. That's going to be quite fun to do. Of course, that'll be part 16 of our co-op, of course. But compared to these guys, I may be. I may be doing this and this, but I will definitely be back for round 19, which is going to be in about three weeks. I'll be doing other little bits and bobs on Twitch myself. You know, I'll just, Get a full gaps in. Sint is six seconds now behind Winchester. With more fuel, Paul 2K pits in. Maybe a bit of a blunder, waiting too long into the race, but Paul 2K has had a fantastic, fantastic Humphrey. This is only the second stop. The same as Addict, these two are the only two who've really kind of got him stayed out of real trouble. Winchester, of course, also has as well. To the super soft tyre, Addict is coming down the main straight now. Addict moves the fourth. Notorious loses out there, but Addict moves the fourth. Great drive in there. Paul 2K now needs to get the position back on Addict. Addict is going to. This is him returning with a real bang. It says out indefinitely. The indefinite period has ended, and Addict is back and in his business. Of course, another guy in his business is the guy who's currently running in second position since. 
really, really going to like the lead from Winchester. Of course, there is a bit of a better battle going on the track. We'll keep an eye on Paul 2K for the moment to see if he can return the fourth position that he did have, of course, in the wet period. I think driving a sensational wet period, of course, putting him from sixth to fourth. Notorious with a bit of a crash into the wall, didn't do himself okay. justice. And of course, as you can see here, guys, pick up to the leader. So sure six, six seconds behind, 28 wet, seconds wet. behind his career. These are the three guys battling together. Big shoe. Oh my Thomas Hale did the last two on the lead lap. Thomas Hale has amazingly survived on the lead lap, incredibly. Les Paul is in ninth position. Wise Dog 10th, Kinich 11th, and Tafka running at the back in 12th position. 1 minute 6 seconds behind the next guy, of course. So Sint is now home in Winchester. This is going to be the battle to the end. Just under 12 laps to go here, folks, of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix for RRL Drive Championship Round 16. Next week we are at Austria. I believe it's, I will confirm with the guys, of course, next week it will be, it's the next race is Austria, will we going to be, of course. I'm going to go to this here, because I'm going to go and fill out some, I'm just going to the race come around, of course. So here comes, so here we'll look into this now. Sit 5.1 seconds, my pull to get So, I will actually watch back to so see how he does close in. And it, let's have a little look. Tries to auto correct the password. That's just fucking shit, isn't it? Um, Sint has put a second on Winchester again. It is Skirky. It's been a hell of a race. Um, I'm going to give you guys in the comments a chance to name this stream as well. So if whoever's watching, just put your name, put your titles, because obviously, you know, we've got the title of the stream, but when it goes on YouTube, I'm going to give it a minute. We're going to clickbait the motherfucker, you know what I mean? Get people to watch. Give, whoever has the most impressive name. Just let me know and I'll actually apply well, yours well, to it, of course. Well, well, just to let you know. I've got a couple myself. I've got um, Interchangeable, which is a bit boring. Uh, wet, dry, dry, wet, dry, which is going to catch your attention. Two cars flipping. Maybe the one that may win out, but... <laughs> Since it's all over. And look, at pull 2K. Now, with Addict as well, we've got a couple of battles on track now. Torius seems to have been left behind by these two, but as long as he gets himself to the end, that's all of that's still a long, long, long way to go in this Grand Prix. Winchester and Sint are going to be all over each other very soon. Sint is absolutely cooling Winchester in at the moment. So let's have a look here. Um, um, oh, yeah. and he's going to have DRS, the first person to get DRS for a while at least. Is Paul 2K and he is going to be catching Alec now. Paul 2K is in third in the championship. He will be, or fourth in the championship, sorry, he needs to beat Cookie, which doesn't look like it's going to happen today unless Cookie has another mistake. I've never seen Cookie actually look at Addict on the main straight, breaking that slipstream. Paul 2K following him every step of the way. Both dangerous and close to the pit wall there. Oh, just over, both over 200 miles an hour as well, like Mayor points out. So he just needs to get his line right here and does. That is a superb line through that corner. Yeah, upside down, I like that. <laughs> should, we go for, should we kind of nail it? Two cars flipping. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get a good name, I reckon we will. We'll work it out before the end of the stream. Um, so, let's guys, here we go then. Let's have a little look here. Six seconds behind. And Tiger Blitz, thank you for following my man. Um, fucking mental drive from you today. Um, thanks for the follow though. <laughs> Almost out of control, but thank you so much for following there, buddy. Means the world. Um, stay tuned, of course, as we'll be hopefully doing this for a very, very long time to come. And I'm putting my name in the pot to drive in a league very soon. I will bring you all the details, of course. I'll be at my own party. I'll probably be streaming it. Formula One meets WWE. <laughs> that's a good one. But you know what? I think that might work. Skarky, that's fantastic. As we cross over into the 100 minute mark for the stream, we 
we have just under 10 laps to go. I look at Alex all over, trying to break that substitute. Paul 2K is fighting every step of the way with DRS as well. That's bravery from both guys there. Since seems to have backed off a little bit here. Not sure if he's just kind of saving for one last big push. Or if Winch is just kind of stepping on it a little bit more. So, just guys, forgive me, I'm just going to have to write something here. Hey. First position is still very, very interesting. It's not a million miles away from Les Paul as well. Remember, it's Sauber versus Ferrari in that particular case. Why is not on the harder tyre than the Sauber of Les Paul? Championship leader Les Paul, he will retain the championship, which is means he's going to be running around Austria in a Sauber, which is probably, if he gets a good result, also around Britain in a Sauber. Cookie's got a stop go penalty. He lost half his run of course earlier in the grid. That is a five second penalty for Cookie. Will it be served now or will it be served at the end? We'll work it out now. It's going to be added to his time at the end. Oh dear me. The wing gets changed as well. Bad to worse for Cookie. Notorious moves ahead of him as well. Cookie. And Tough Kev gets the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. He's only two laps down. Sure, what might have been for Kev, of course. Kinch eleventh, Bryson tenth, Les Paul ninth, Thomas Hill eighth. Big Stu pits in. I believe that's wing damage from Stu. So Thomas Hill will inherit seventh. Cookie is in sixth. Notorious in fifth. Paul 2K fourth, had it on the podium in a McLaren in fucking third. Kev mate, it's not quality. Skunky, you fucking stop it man. You're lowering my, my professionalism. Les Paul is nearly a lap down on Stu, or was nearly a lap down on Stu and A, so that shouldn't really be a problem. Big Stu will return. It looks so promising for Big Stu. If he'd have kept it going, he would have been in third position right now comfortably, but obviously with a bit of a mistake. You know, it, it, it happens sometimes. And... Yep, we've just got to get up, get on with it. Winchester is just coming. Sint pits. Sint's lost his wing. Sint with a wing off. Oh my god, what's happened to Sint? Wing off for Sint. Which may, 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 may promote Addict to second place in the McLaren. Sint comes around the final. The first corner now, it's not. Sint remains in second, but that is Winchester's race. It's over. Barring madness. Sint, I missed that incident on the stream. I'm watching Paul 2K and we'll go through the order. Have a bit of a chat about the race so far, so we down it's total war from ended up. What a really good start. Kind of tail off and then of course ended up in the wall, which didn't really help his cause. Tiger, not the best of debuts, but of course he DNF'd, of course he will be Unfortunately, well, not putting his name on the point scoring board yet. Um, oh, Tails just had a bit of a shocker, it seems, just ended up putting it in the wall in the castle section. Biddy at the end at the end of the second DRS straight. Yeah, of course, Tiger, good race, man. Um, hopefully you can get reinvited back, man, and we'll hopefully see you on the grid very, very soon, of course. Um, like I said, I'm a bit of a weird on me. I don't represent anybody personally. I just kind of represent myself. But RL of happy, let me commentate. Former driver of those, of course. And I am here to enjoy. I'll, I'm here to project my voice to the masses. Look at Winchester puts in the fastest lap of the race. Lap 44. Just moving to lap 45 now. Winnie is really stretching his legs now. He's lap for the second time. I'm just really beginning to 
it's a helmet that's on the logo as well. This is how you do it, guys. This is how you Winnie the, the sole survivor, it seems. The only one who's not actually put a foot wrong is Reggie yet. Of course, we have known Winnie to crash off occasionally. I don't want to commentate to curse him. But he has been known to put his... Well, he did a couple of second positions thrown away into a wall. The most heartbreaking one I've, I seem to remember was in Brazil, where he stacked up lap 68. Which is... <laughs> you, know, you just want to punch something, don't you, really? But I... Big, big time here for Winchester. This is going to put him right back into the fray. Of course, he had to get an 80-point boost to put himself into the driver's points tally, but of course, he may be able to beat some of the guys down the bottom of the grid. Obviously, Big Stu, who has had a very, very up-and-down race here, um, drove really well for the first two-thirds of it, and obviously, during the wet period, it just kind of tailed off, had a bit of an incident come around following, I believe it was... I believe it might have been... Well, he wasn't, he wasn't a podium position. No, Stint overtook him, didn't he? Right, it has been just a dominant performance by Winnie. We're going to go on board with Cookie now, because I think he was catching up Torius here. Torius has now lost the full portion of his front right. Tough Kev just following these guys around. Like I said, Kev, do what he needs to do, just picking up the points. In a very quick car. If he was Austria, of course, he would be in a huge yeah. car. Yeah. Battle for fifth and rages on Big Stu. Gets himself the fastest lap, just where we're talking about Stu, of course. That's a 144.8. That's, that's, that's a lap, that is. Cookie is now all over I'm notorious. We have a battle, ladies and gentlemen. We have a battle. So the battle for fifth position. Cookie, notorious. Flying round towards the end of the second two now. The trickiest corner on the track. The tough left hander. So many wings have been hit off in this race. So many walls have been plummeted. The architecture of Azerbaijan. Cookie's in inside, but Torres is kind of it. Watch out. Oh, here comes Cookie. All over the back of Notorious. Nearly, you, you can smell, you can smell what Notorious has done. Notorious on the wall. They both got off. They both got off. They both got off. Cookie's gone. Cookie's out. What a crash. Oh, it's over. Oh, my God. That means Cookie's in a slow car next week. He's in the sour next week, guys. Oh my lord. Oh, it happened like that. So quick. What a move up. Oh my. Oh lord. Notorious spin the pit lane. His race has just unraveled. The two kites. Guys just got too close. No blame there whatsoever. Just. I think Notorious hit the wall slit in the left. Come across, Cookie. No. Passenger for both. Madness. Oh, that is absolutely heartbreaking. Talking about heartbreak. Like I said, guys, anything can happen in this race. Thomas Halo has found himself all of a sudden being 40 seconds behind these two. With Notorious with a five second penalty to add onto his time as well. Thomas has now found himself down in second. Thomas Halo to fifth position. That's a hell of a drive for Halo. Hell of a combat drive. She was a lap down, of course. That's where actually went. That's Winchester in front of him. Kinnich, though. Ooh, a bit of a jitter on the old lag there. But there we go. That is simply how it goes. I think that now may be the last action of the Grand Prix. Oh, Cookie. Deary, mate. A race that showed so much promise has now shown the DNF on Cookie's record, which means he's had two non finishes in a row, which means he's in a slow car, which is. I would leave the session myself as well. I will be absolutely toasting with rage. As Paul comes past the stricken car. Oh, you just... There's no words, is there? It's happened quite a lot in this season where guys have been racing each other and then just all of a sudden plummet off. It's not between Notorious and Thomas Halo as well, by the way. Big Stew. Comfortably in 7th position now. All these guys have to do is seat for Tien. Fantastic effort. Ele 11 finishes in Baku. It was the same in Monaco as well, if you remember. Double figure finishes again. So far, at least. There's a long way to go. I assume that Winnie's going to be putting his feet, putting his feet up here and just opening well, you know, as best he can. Not slack off too much. Concentration levels up. And 
I think she's only just over taking cookie as well, by the way. Shoots at a 144.5, so he is not yet out of sight and notorious either. Addict escaped Paul 2K, so on McLaren on the podium. That's a sensational effort from Addict for this race. Great return. I don't want him much more, I don't think. Oh, that's a second. That backslide out there. Speaking of backslide, that Halo does the same thing. Gotta love that medium traction, baby. Gotta love the traction. Paul 2K does actually have half a wing, maybe worth pointing out. As does Mr. Winchester. He's got a bit of damage now. Long way to go, but... Well, not a long way to go, should we say. But... Oh, he's crashed! When oh, he's crashed! Went off! Commentator's curse is in full effect. When he just let Big Stu go, if I were you. You've got wing damage. Don't stack it when he's from the lead. He's dropped so many points. No, ironically, Tough Kev has just overtaken Cookie as well, but that's just want to point that out. When he's got to be careful... I will win it. I will just pit in. Pit in. Get yourself in the pits. He's got enough time. I'd like to do a bit of a week off as well. Everyone's just dying here in this race. Shoot, when he just pit in. Yeah, he's when he's pit in. Intelligent decision there by Winchester. Is he going to pit? He does. Great stuff. Can big shoot toe as well. The shoot quite thankful for that. As I said, it's, as I said, it is not over in this race, and there's actually still an on-track battle going on—a very, very distant one. Let's pull in eighth. Why is dog in ninth? Of course, these guys are racing down in twelfth and thirteenth earlier. When he just hit him now to get the wheels and wing on. I'd say comfortably. Yeah, he's going to comfortably come out in first, but he's just got to now to the end. Nice chill out here from when he gets himself out of the pits. Sit not even crossed the line yet. This is the, like I said, this is the time of the race when fatigue kicks in. These guys have been doing this for over nearly two hours tonight. It really, really is grueling. You just gotta kinda keep your head in the game with these hundred percent races, of course. Obviously the six guys who have gone out, Cookie unfortunately was the latest one when he crashed into Notorious, he was managed to somehow survive in sixth position. They both hit the wall with tremendous force. Of course, Cookie hit it at the wrong angle, and his wheel went kind of inserted into his nose, which wouldn't really kind of do much for a kind of dating profile, would it? But we'll move on from that. Um, <laughs> fuck, man, I'm 4.4 seconds between Winchester and Sid. Now, you can see Winchester. Win now, Sid can see Winnie. That is a motivator. Will we get double figures here? That's the question. Will we manage it? Look at that! Wise Dog 1.3 seconds now behind Les Paul. Gives something fun to watch. This has made the end of the race a lot more interesting since almost been woken up it seems. Can't push too hard around this track. And Sid nearly found out there with the tail end of his car whipping out. Now this is one for you Skarky here if you're still watching my man. This is going to be a huge finish here. So here comes Sid then. Under four seconds behind but remember when he is on fresh super softs. What I'm saying that is he? He had two runs in quality when he well they're going to be semi fresh aren't they? Assume. Thomas Halo has moved on to the fifth position. Good consistent Paul 2k has just driven his own race it seems. As has Addict the pair of them even though they battled together for a while. 3.9, it's under 4 seconds if Winnie gets a 3 second penalty. I don't think he will, but you know, if anything can happen, then the race has just opened up a whole new, <laughs> whole new facet it seems, isn't it? 1.1 seconds back, we are going to get on board with Wise Dog. He's, under a, he's now a second behind with DRS coming up. He's not going to be close enough to activate the DRS, but of course in that Ferrari, and he, he's running a, he's, he's minus on his fuel. His fuel light is on with one lap to go. Oh, of course, there's a lap down. It won't make a difference, will it? Sorry. Forgive me. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm back awake, guys. I promise. Um, so we are now going to go on board. It's simply all about Winchester versus Sint here. Both 
joined the league in season, I think Sam joined in season 5, when he season, did race a couple in season 5, full time in season 6. Since of course he competed in multiple racing leagues across his ECE racing, ESIM racing career. WR, ESR, RRL, of course. Very, very talented driver on board with Weinstein at the moment, just seeing if he can catch Les Paul and Patton before the end of the race. We got Oz Winchester flying down the main straight, so there is Winnie. Gotta watch his fuel. Since going for a last lap charge, it seems. I think he's a little bit too far behind. Winnie does a 44-2. I, th I think that's claimed, really. Winnie, I, th I don't think anyone's going to challenge that lap. Not at this late stage. Final lap. Just a, his first mistake came on lap 47. No one is infallible around Baku. But it seems that Winchester has put the least amount wrong. He's running in lean, he's just going to get to the end now. You can see this here. Sint doing exactly the same thing. And it's a great drive. In third. Get himself right back in the pool. 2k similar in fourth. Thomas Halo fifth. Victoria 6th, Big Shoe 7th, that's where I say it is, uh, Les Paul 8th, Nice Dog 9th, Greenwich in 10th, Tough Kev survived remarkably to round up the so far. So here we go, Stuart Winchester, oh wow wow Winchester, formerly Winchester 1994. Literally three corners to go. The race that everyone almost wants to win almost as much if not more than Monaco now. With two corners, will Winnie be able to do it? This is the final one now. He's out of trouble. Standard mix. And Winchester wins the RRL season 8 Baku. Since honourable drive, second position. These guys are probably just going to pass out after this Grand Prix, to be honest with you. An amazing race. Addict, don't ask, don't try and ask me, I don't know. Third position for Addict, incredible drive, great return. He puts his name back into the mix. Sends ripples throughout the championship, it seems. Paul 2K, <laughs> knows he's on the TV. Driver Paul TK and there's Kev coming through 11th position. Great, great, just solid driver by Kev, wasn't it? Just making sure he got to the end. Let's pull the next one through across the line. It's in 8th position. Wise Dog then finishes in ninth. Well done, Sint, not bad. As we watch. Thomas Halo, great drive by Halo, fifth position, nice run. Notorious, you see him in the background there, sixth place, great recovery, lucky he survived the crash with Cookie, of course, <laughs> I forgot my lines there. Um, and Big Shoe in ninth place, oh sorry, seventh place, sorry, forgive me, so many positions down already. He's just fucking around with his kids. <laughs> tenth position. An inch. And that there is everything done. We've got Winchester with a great victory there, first position. We have. Actually, we'll wait till the, we'll wait till the podium. Sorry. Great drive though by Winchester. Great drive from the lads. 
Addict is an incredible driver third. Driver of the day, guys, I would have to probably say, well, Addict's really, there's not really much else. Addict pull 2k tied there, you would say. I'll uh, give it to Addict in this case. Addict gets driver of the day, but Winchester takes the race win since second in the Renault, third Addict, fourth Paul to Toro, so fifth Thomas Halo, sixth Notorious, seventh Big Shoe, eighth Let's Paul, ninth Wise Dog, tenth Kinich, and Tough Kev bringing it on Cookie Toto. We had, of course, Tiger Blitz on his debut, Turtles Biddy and Michelangelo all retiring. Michelangelo from pole position, retiring. It's over, guys. This has been Positively Glad. That was our whole Season 8 Drivers' Championship Round 16. I will let you know if I'm here next week, of course. Most probably will end up being here, of course. It's me, you know. But guys, take it easy. Much love. All the best. And I will speak to you all very, very, very soon. Goodbye for now.